Kim Lewis and Slava Epstein, professors at Northeastern University in Boston, USA, didn't have to look far to make groundbreaking discoveries. This gram of common soil contains about 10 billion cells and uncountable novel species, some perhaps with antimicrobial properties. The two scientists' invention makes this incredible diversity explorable. They call it the eye chip. It's a tool that opens the door to the unknown world of microbes. To study the countless species of microscopic bacteria, fungi or microalgae, larger colonies have to be grown in the laboratory. Since 1887, the means of choice for this has been the Petri dish. However, only about 1% of all microbes can be cultivated in this way. For the remaining 99%, it hasn't been possible. A riddle that has puzzled microbiologists for over a century. And not only them. Antibiotics that fight bacterial infections are based on substances produced by microorganisms. And no newly discovered microbes mean no new antibiotics. The last time a novel antibiotic was introduced into clinical practice, it was 25 years ago. The lack of supply can cost lives. More and more bacteria are resisting the known antibiotics. In Europe alone, over 30,000 people die every year of infections caused by multi-resistant bacteria, also known as superbugs. We are certainly in the middle of a global antimicrobial resistance uh, crisis. It may be the end of medicine as we know it today. At the end of the 90s, Kim Lewis and Slava Epstein develop a theory. They believe that instead of bringing microbes to the lab, the lab has to be brought to them. We thought that uncultured bacteria may be grown using uh, a simple trick, which is to grow them where we do know that they will grow, and that is their natural environment. The two scientists want to build a gadget to test their thesis. It's quite a challenge. Neither of us is an engineer. It was very difficult. We kept coming with different solutions, uh, which always turn out not to be solutions. Kim Lewis breaks the creative dry spell with an unorthodox move. And then one day he closed the door so that we wouldn't go leave until we have a solution. But I had a problem because I, have a, I had a date. I had a date with my wife, which I could not possibly get late to. So uh, when you face with a situation when you have no choice, you produce. In that 40 minutes, we made the design. And this is how it works. Soil samples, like those from the campus grounds, are mixed with a nutrient medium. The researchers ultimately glue together the prototype of their portable microbe cultivation station using ingeniously simple ingredients. You just take a washer from a hardware store, uh, sandwich the space within between two membranes, and that's a perfect space for bacteria inside to grow. That's all it takes, and it costs a dollar. The glued-on membranes are too fine-poured to allow the microbes themselves to escape. But they are permeable to the small molecules of nutrients and messenger substances that they need for survival. In order for them to get that, the finished diffusion chamber is buried in the home soil of the soil sample. They are essentially tricked. They do not know that something happened to them, and they grow to form colonies. The results were spectacular. Uh, we increased uh, microbial recovery by thousands and thousands percent. We clearly were on to something. However, the bacteria in the diffusion chamber grow wildly and uncontrolled. Slava Epstein and Kim Lewis refine their invention. The result is the so-called isolation chip, or iChip for short. 
The heart of this first professional version consists of a plastic plate with around 400 tiny holes. The nutrient solution with the bacteria is diluted in such a way that mathematically there is only one microbe in each hole. The bacterial colonies growing in the eye chip have been pre-sorted, so to speak. As with the diffusion chamber, membranes at the top and bottom keep the microbes in place. Slava Epstein and Kim Lewis apply for a patent for their invention. Over 60,000 new species of uncultured bacteria have been discovered. And from these bacteria, uh, over 30 antibiotics were identified, of which three are now in uh, preclinical development. This is Eleftheria terrae, one of many bacteria that could be cultivated thanks to the eye chip. Eleftheria terrae produces a substance that the researchers call taxobactin. It has a strong antibiotic effect, even against the dreaded multi-resistant hospital bug MRSA. Preclinical trials for medical approval are currently underway. We're looking for antibiotics presently, but it could be antiviral, it could be anti-inflammatory, it could be anti-tumor, you name it. That is the main benefit, the untapped source of novel chemistry. Exploring the universe of microbes and new antibiotics for humanity. A small invention by Slava Epstein and Kim Lewis has massive potential. <laughs>